Okay, we're going to give you some guidance how to take your steering wheel off your Land Rover Discovery 2. I'll do a bit of a disclaimer. Obviously, this is working with an airbag, and so you should be competent and know what you're doing. Um, so that's my disclaimer. Um, it's only for guidance. Right, so the first thing you've got to do is disconnect your battery. So disconnect your battery, disconnect the negative terminal first, then the positive terminal. And you need to leave it five minutes. So there may be some residual charge in capacitors in your radio. Um, you need to let that all die down. So I recommend leaving it at least five minutes to, to ensure that's died down. Now, to release the airbag, there's two screws that come in from the back. Now, it's impossible to... You can feel them under here. But what you'll need to do is, um, in fact, if I turn it that way, Tom, you might, and turn the torch on, let me grab the torch, you may be able to see on the camera, up in, up in here, there's two, there is a torque screw. But rather than uh, try and show you in the darkness there, what we'll, if you watch from above, so we've got it, you get the best access with it at 90 degrees, um, which you'll obviously need to put your keys in for. And then we've got a Torx T30, so it's important, it's T30 is the size. Now we, we have tried to get bit drivers in, but you need quite a long shank to get into the screw. So we're just using um, our little Torx key as you can see. Right. Okay, so you can feel it's, it's in and locked on. Now we've loosened this already, and we, we loosened it actually by using this and we put a spanner on the end, I'll give you a little demo, can you see that Tom? And there you go, and you, if you hook that over there, you can get the leverage of a spanner on there, okay? So, okay, now it won't come out, but you'll, you'll start to see, if you come around the front again now Tom, you'll start to see your airbags now, now loose at the top, okay? And then the one at the bottom is the same, and you can just get in from the bottom when you've got it at this 90 degree position okay just enough room to turn the key okay there's, there's not too many turns right now with that done you should better gently remove the airbag he says it's catching on something i haven't got that top screw undone enough just So let's have a go now. So that comes away now. Don't pull it away too far because it's on a fairly short cable, okay? So you can see the cable here. Now one thing to note on the video, Tom, can you show them the, uh, if I put it up the right way, the orientation of the cable. So the yellow cable goes through these two outer clips, okay? And the black cable runs through the inner clips, okay? The other thing to note here is that this this connector here is pointing towards this little slot here. So you can see the wires come in and then it's pointing up. Make sure you put it back in that direction. Now this connector does just pull off. It can be quite tight. Um, there's no special catch, but it just pulls off. Now obviously put the airbag, it is an explosive device, put it down somewhere gently, put it down out the way, away from children, etc. Okay, because that can go off. Okay, um, then we've got the steering wheel. Now, in order to undo the nut, it's best to put the steering lock on. So if you take the keys out the ignition, okay, and normally it locks. Let's have a look, where is it going to lock? There, we've managed to lock it in the uh, straight position, which is good. One thing you've got to note is when you take the nut off, which we're going to do now, make sure you put the steering wheel back on in exactly the same position. Okay, so you can either take a picture with your mobile phone straight on, because the shaft's locked now, it's not going to move. Okay, or you can make a mark on it or put a bit of masking tape on the back cowling. Um, but because we've got it locked in the dead straight position, we're okay with this one. Okay, so we've got a 19 millimeter socket here. Okay, now we have done this one already. Okay, that might be incredibly tight, but with the steering lock on, um, if you push up, you should better get that undone, no trouble. Now, what we recommend doing is undo it a few turns, okay, and then what you've got to do is pull the steering wheel towards you. Now, we've had this one off, okay. Now, you might be lucky and it might pull towards you, but what you may need to do is loosen it, okay, give it a bit of a, okay, and then 
you can see when it comes loose, but it's not going to hit you in the face because you've left the nut on, okay? Um, that was Tom's good idea, that was. Um, so when, when you've got it loose, you can remove, remove the nut and put that somewhere safe. Okay, and then we need to remove the connections. Now, it, it's difficult to unplug this connection in the slip ring, so it's easier to disconnect this connector here. So if you move this little white tab to the side, okay, you should better just pop this connector out here. And if you flip it over, you'll see it's just got this little peg here, which you can't release, but you can just pull, okay? So it's more of a, okay, and then put that back round the right way. Okay, and then we're unpoppering this out of its connectors. So the black one goes on the inner track, and the yellow one goes round the outside track. Okay, like so, and get those in a straight line. And now we can just pull this gently through here, feeding these as we go. Okay. Right. Okay. So that's the wheel removed. Here you can see. Well, we've got it off. Let me show you. So these are the two screws that come in from the back. Okay. And you'll, you'll see those if I hold it out. So they screw up through there. They do come at a slight angle, okay? And I didn't show you on the airbag. Let me just show you. They screw into these two. But if you look from the side, you can see how they're just at a slight angle, okay? So when you're coming in, okay? When you put it back on, this slip ring can, can move. But what you've got to make sure is that these two, the holes in the back... Okay, obviously you can't get it far wrong because the wires come through this square hole. And these two holes here line up with the two pins here and here. Okay, so there you go. That's how to change the steering wheel on your Discovery 2.